Hi, welcome to Shreya TV and this is the third of the series of voice work videos where you and I are together working on some of the most effective vocal techniques and in today's video I am talking about the tone or the pitch or the resonance or the variation in our voice. We also commonly call this expression which means that if you saw my first video and by the way if you haven't watched the previous videos this will be a little off because you'll say why is she talking about a series what about my breathing see she hasn't covered this that so each video is going to be incomplete if you have not watched the previous videos so I insist that pause watch the first two videos and then come back and watch this video because then it's going to all fall in place so they say that there are resonators in our entire body from where you know the voice really comes out so when someone says that hey this person speaks from the heart is the voice really coming from here or here we feel that the voice is coming from here but the voice is actually coming just from the mouth so what is that person doing they are using their chest resonator to speak with a little more intensity or when somebody speaks in a more jovial voice in a happy voice so they're speaking from a head space they're speaking from an exciting face when somebody speaks uh, with a lot of excitement enthusiasm happiness and delight so then that person engages more of their face the nose essentially when they're speaking nose muscle so I want you to quickly uh, understand what these resonators in our body are and how do you bring them alive so the first resonator we are going to activate is at the chest resonator again when I learned this it was so simple but when you practically have to implement it it's all different so I want you to make a fist of your hand and start thumping your chest and like really thump the chest and as you thump it say anything like make a sound Ah uh, or sa or oh ah uh, whatever. So we'll start with ah. Uh. Do it with me. Make a fist and let's come to chest. Ah uh, ah. Uh, Stop. Do you feel the vibration in the chest? You have just activated the chest resonators because this is your low voice. This is your deep voice. This is your intense voice. When somebody is more uh, authoritative or assertive, more orderly, that's when the person requires to use the chest voice, the low voice, the deep voice, because that's how the expression will come out. So let's say you're not happy with a colleague's performance, whatever, or you want to discipline your child. So uh, the right emotion that you want to take out is, I don't appreciate what you've done. So you're ending on a lower note on a in a chest voice. I think it's time we talk about your performance. Ending on a lower note and in general speaking in a deep voice. So a voice which has a low scale, low, deep, intense voice is a voice that is in a way taken more seriously as they say. So it's a a lot of powerful people also intentionally work on their voice so that they can take take out the deep chest voice because it's an intense voice so uh, this voice sounds like it has a lot more gravitas so if you want if you feel that you don't sound powerful enough if you feel that when you speak people don't listen to you enough uh, then maybe it's time to work on your chest resonators but do you really think it's as simple that we just thump our chest a couple of times and the chest voice comes up no it's not actually as that simple when you consciously want to work on it it requires a little more practice so you want to go a step further so remember we were taking that R sound pick that sound again and let's work on the low resonance of that sound so deep breathe in uh... as you can I couldn't go beyond that so what does this do this really activates the deepest the lowest sounds and the resonators from your voice and it just makes you aware that your voice can actually go this low does that mean you have to go this low all the time no that's going to be dramatic or that maybe is not your personality so you don't want to do that but what you want is access to these lower notes 
nodes because there are multiple instances in our interaction where these lower nodes are supposed to come out. Right? So now let's say I have to speak in a lower voice or in low resonance. My voice is going to sound like this. Hello everybody. This is the third in the voice series where you and I are together working on the most effective vocal techniques to ensure that you not only sound successful but also more meaningful, powerful and authentic. Is there a difference between the voice that I just demonstrated and my actual voice? The first voice was consciously a lot more deeper. But a lot of people already have that voice. They already have this really, really deep, intense voice. So those people need to explore the other side of their voice, which is the higher notes, or also called the nose or the nasal resonators. Take your thumbs and press the nostrils and take out a sound. You want to say R, ah, you want to say E. Let's take out E. It's going to sound funny, but you have to do it because that's how you will know that this is the voice that takes us on higher notes. Start with me. Deep breathe in. Breathe out with E. E. Press the nostrils with me. laughing because I just imagine a lot of people in trainings who have invariably laughed at this voice when I have demonstrated this voice. Hi, my name is this. So this is an extreme voice. This is like really using your nasal voice to the full capacity. But not everybody does that. However, reaching or having access to the nose is very important. Why? Because as I said in the beginning, a lot of enthusiasm, excitement, delight and happiness comes or curiosity, asking questions comes through this voice. So it's important to activate the nose muscles saying, Hi, nice to see you. Good morning. So I ended on a higher note. It's great to see you. Ending on a higher note. Did you do this? Ending on a higher note. If, if you feel that you have a naturally um, deep, intense voice, I consciously want you to start practicing the nose voice because that's going to bring out the other set of expressions that I just told you. So, hi, nice to meet you. So, we don't always have to use one or the other. It's not a forced thing, but it's important to have access to both these resonators so that whenever the appropriate expression or emotion comes in a sentence, we sound like that expression or emotion, which is why so many people say something, but they don't sound like that person. I'm happy to meet you all. No, I'm happy to meet you all. Kills the impact, right? You don't want to talk like that. So you want to have access to both these resonators. So merely uh, pressing the nostrils will not get you access to the higher notes, just like thumping the chest didn't. So what do you do? Pick up the same sound, let's pick R ah, and just like I went consciously lower in the R, ah, this time I'm going to consciously go higher in the R ah, and see how high I can go. You, I, I, you have to do it with me, I'm not doing this. You don't learn voice by listening to people, you learn voice work by doing it. So do it with me, deep breathe in and as we deep breathe out, R ah, and we'll go up, ready? Okay, naturally I don't speak in that higher note all the time because I know that I have access to that voice whenever I am in a situation where those high notes are required I know I can go there so when I'm talking to babies I always like to go on higher notes. So speaking to younger audiences or trying to influence uh, the youth, always a good idea to end your sentences on a higher note or in general use your high resonators when you speak to them. It just excites them, pumps them a little more. You are supposed to demonstrate the contrast when you're speaking to anyone, whether you're uh, speaking in a meeting for long hours or you're speaking at home or with friends and family, please demonstrate the contrast in your voice so that they feel that this person is alive, this person feels emotions, this person is active.
actively involved in the discussion. So when you want to go high, you should be able to go high. When you want to go low, you should be able to go low. And a lot of others in between. And there are also statements which actually have to be in one tone. It's raining. So there's not really high or low in that. It's a statement. So statements, yes, are said in one tone. But not all of our sentences should be said in one tone. Okay, let me know how this video was for you. Yeah. I want messages pouring in here so that I know that you've practiced uh, the pitch and uh, variation just the way I told you. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned on this segment because the next one's coming soon.